Hey guys, welcome to the shooting range. Today I brought you here because I am testing this 80 inch Homer Gold bow that I made. It's made for a customer, actually a prize winner, via my Instagram page. The original one I made broke when he got it. Uh, Travelling from Denmark to Germany apparently wasn't good for it. Must have sustained some kind of damage and injury during that time. Well, this 80 inch Homer Gold Bell is made completely after the model of the modeled of the original one. Um, it's 80 inches long because the guy receiving it is a tall guy from Germany and um, what we have found out from, from the Stone Age is that the bows were the full length of the human shooting it. And uh, since he is a very tall guy, the bow must be long. It pulls about 45 pounds at 32 inches because that's his draw length. I only draw 28 and these areas are 31. So we'll get me about there. And uh, you can see this is with crowned back. See if I can show you that. Crown back and a flat belly. And the handle section just cut up. It's a wiggly piece. I don't know if you can tell, it's a wiggly piece. But um, it's made from a rock elm sapling. And this is just how it was made. It's just what the wood wanted. Now I'm gonna test shoot it about 150 times before sending it off to Germany, so I'm sure that it works. And then um, you see I made this nice, well I think it's nice, fades with the bark. And I uh, left some bark on it so it just gives it some character. Now the thing about this that is not historically correct are the knocks. There were no knocks, no knocks, on the original one. It's just tied around with a Boreas knot and then um, nothing else. So, uh, This is the bow. Could easily draw longer than this. And the uh, point of it. So <clears throat> enjoy some shooting videos and I'll send uh, I'll show you some more pictures of it and then um, my favorite little stone age arrow that I made just to show it off. So stick around and um, enjoy. Final shot of the day. I'm a bit anxious about this. My newly made Stone Age arrow, made completely from materials I found myself, apart from the string holding the things on. <coughs> it's about 600 grains, so a bit heavy for this 45 pound bow, but on the other hand, it's 90 centimeters long, so I should be able to pull the bar the bow further to get some speed into it. I'm a bit anxious because I don't know if the antler tip will hold on the target. So let's let's see who else. <clears throat> Bloody brilliant! Mm-hmm. 
marvelous bloody things. Just awesome. That is a great for shooting an arrow you make yourself with a bloody antlered arrow tip and a bow you make yourself. Killing shots. One more, one more. Kill shot. Let's let's leave the bow here. Pardon my excitement, but this feels bloody awesome. <clears throat> so there we are. And let's see how far in we went. With a bit heavier bow, this would do some serious damage. I'm very excited about this. Bloody hell. Success.